In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the least common multiple on a number line. And the idea is that basically you're skip counting. Instead of writing out the multiples, like we did when we first started making lists, you're going to be jumping to those multiples on a number line. So the first two numbers we're going to do are 3 and 8 and find the least common multiple. Or if there's other multiples, you'll see those as well. So I'm going to start at 0 and I'm going to skip count. So I go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Those are the multiples of 3. And then I'm going to do 8 in green, and I'm going to skip count by 8. 8, 16, 24. It goes, the next one goes off, right? Um, then we're going, so, so what you're going to notice is there is a, a point at which both of those skip countings overlap on the same number, and those are common multiples. So let's look at what 12 and 8 looks like. Start at 0. So 12, 24, and then it goes off the chart. 8 will be in the green. 8, 16, 24. Okay, hey, that looks like a familiar common multiple. And then let's see what 6 and 8 look like. 6 will be in red. Skip count by 6s. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Then we'll skip count by 8s. 8, 16, 24. I'm noticing something. Oops, I meant to do that one in black. Go ahead and erase that and choose black. All right. And then the last example is going to be 4 and 6. So let's skip count by 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. And then it goes off the chart. And skip count by 6s. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, so you're noticing something maybe a little bit different about this example. And everywhere those two skip countings meet up at the same number, those are common multiples. And of course, if we're looking for the least common multiple, then we're finding the smallest place where those two number lines overlap. All right, that's how you find the least common multiple on a number line.